This is agave attenuata, foxtail agave. And it is mostly found in Southern California. Uh, when I researched this, I was surprised to find how few other areas it is shown in the Western United States. And a lot of that has to do with what kind of weather conditions it likes. It uh, can handle the dry air of Southern California, but also is found coastally quite a bit. This is a Santa Barbara that you see here. And this is showing a, a really healthy planting and some rich soil in a shaded uh, side of a building. So beautiful florets. These are the leaves of the plant. And uh, those are probably mm, four to five foot diameter clusters. And as you can see, it's a clumping plant that kind of uh, colonizes. And at the bottom of each plant, you're going to have um, division or grouping starting to um, grow off of the base. And that's one of the best, I, I believe that's how it's propagated. So um, not known for its flower, although we're going to show it here. Uh, the flowers only occur on older clumps. And very distinctive flowers, you can see, can be as long as 12 feet and uh, occurs uh, mainly in the cooler months. This was taken around the first of the year. Um, but here's a typical clump. These are about five to eight feet tall. And um, as you can see, the bigger florets are at the top of the plant. And then down there at the base, you can see some babies uh, starting to do their thing. So that's the nature of the plant. It's really used for, it's one of the few kind of thornless agaves and uh, beautiful leaves. I just love the texture and look of this blue-green foliage. And that's what it's used for. Um, Again, very unique in, in terms of its feel to Southern California, and it's used a lot around the Spanish colonial architecture there in Santa Barbara and Southern California. Uh, it's good next to the coast, can handle the uh, ocean conditions, and uh, can also be used inland. Uh, just in the hottest part of the day, does not want to be in really hot conditions in full sun, prefer some shade for that. And uh, very low water. I saw this growing on the sides of hills in Santa Barbara with absolutely no irrigation and doing okay with that. So these are very drought resistant once they're, once they're established. By the way, these are hardy down to around mid to high 20s uh, Fahrenheit. And uh, so that's part of what regulates where you can use these. And that is uh, agave attenuata, foxtail agave. Enjoy.